I had an idea. I love talking like a redneck. It's just fun. Um, um, I, uh, going outside. I'm going to take you with me. Yes. And we need sunglasses and we need a dingo. Come on, dingo. Let's go outside. Come on. Yeah, I got this old school selfie stick. It's called your fucking hand, you know? It holds the camera up and you can point it at yourself and everything. It's fucking wonderful. So, today what I wanted to film was my car. I did an experiment. See, I got some plans with some certain investors. I'm trying to get this other guy who's not only an investor, but he's a lawyer and a race car driver. And I'm trying to get him involved in this automotive restoration dealership type shop. But what I've been doing while I work on that is kind of playing with different restoration methods and seeing how cheap I could get the process. This entire car was painted with duplicolor rattle cans. And no, it's not in great shape now because it's, you know, fucking dirty as hell. But this paint actually did look halfway decent at one point. I used a couple cans of clear on it. That's the uh, OEM urethane versus the duplicolor. And that's a big fucking spider that just jumped out at me. How about that? Hello, spider. Holy crap. Get the fuck off my car, bitch. Get off, whore. Whore! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Why are you on my car? <laughs> oh, that worked. He just flew the fuck away. But she has no idea what the hell just happened. A little Summit $10 muffler tips on my California spec exhaust with a MagnaFlow racing catalytic converter and custom stainless steel 421 headers chip foose interior there but this car is supposed to look kind of drab because I don't really want people to know you know what she's all about and what she's all about is burning the fuck out of these front tires. <laughs> As you can see, I have some uh, downforce vents, y'all. I got my little front lip on there. That's because I uh, often wind up unintentionally exceeding the speed limit. If I get on the highway and somebody pisses me off, which is why I don't go on the highway anymore. But I am going to soon take either this one or that one to a racetrack and see what they can do. This is the H22A from Japan with a paddle shift car uh, transmission made to be automatic but with a little... Uh, Tiptronic is from a 96 Accord. But what's great about that donor car is it was OBD1, which means this 93 Cord's computer can handle it just fine. But I forgot my lighter. Hold on. My lighter, I stuck it in my back pocket instead of my front pocket on accident. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. I don't know. I brought the wrong lighter. It didn't even fucking work. This lighter actually works. So. Hmm. Alright, so. Thing is, when you start this car, it sounds like a normal car. It has a normal tailpipe on it. But when you hit VTEC on this car, as you can see on my CV7 H22 Accord video 
pretty sure it has those in the title. When you start this car up, it sounds normal. When you hit VTEC, it sounds rather fucking brilliant. But I like the idea of the exhaust that I put in here. It <laughs> took a little bit of doing to put it together. And um, took a little research to make sure I was ordering the right parts. Um, took a lot of research, actually. But this is the way it sounds. It's mellow. Quiet as can be when it's idling through town, you know? Rest quickly. Now, I bought a lot of motors from H Motors Online, and they tend to give me the uh, the one sitting pretty in the corner. I, well, let's just say I'm always very friendly with them. And I've been a customer of theirs for a very long time, and I've sent them a whole lot of referrals. <clears throat> Good luck, spider webs. Integra is still being used as a fucking storage unit. Damn. Got brand new floor mats that I bought. This is supposed to be my wife's car. Until I figured out that this motor was fully built. I didn't buy this from eight motors. I bought this. This was a junk car that I got. Copart. Radio works. Prime the fuel pump twice. Bad gas, come on. Come on, bad gas. swap cruiser. The problem is I ordered type R suspension for this sucker and they sent me type R suspension for the back and they sent me stock suspension front. Ain't that a bitch. So these brand new, those are brand new tires on there on some fucking $1,400 rims or some shit. Ooh, a wasp. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb your house, fucker. You get the hell out of my car. And it's just sitting there. And will be for quite some time. It's it's over budget. I, I keep on, every, every time I start to order parts for this fucking thing, I just, I, I can't convince myself to do it. So it's waiting until I get the ability to Get it up and see if there's some little tricks I can do with the rear suspension to make it not only rideable like it is, but actually really good at braking and cornering. Because there is a way still to set this car up with the mismatched parts that I have on it. And um, just kind of sounds like something fun to play with. So, what the plan is is to tell my dog to fix it. Dingo. What you doing? Now, the plan is, see this little area right here, with these little ramps right here. Uh, I'm going to finish building it. And it's going to come up to about yay. And I'll be able to get completely underneath that car. But first, actually, I do have a little bit of work do on this girl. So, well, I built it from the ground up. I mean, there's literally nothing on this car hasn't been replaced except for like, I don't know, the wiring harness. 
everything you're looking at is new, except for this and these two guys. And this, this doesn't even work anymore. I don't know. I don't even have it connected. I was going to remove it, and then I just kind of forgot to. But I have a rattle right down here. I'm pretty sure it's my power steering pump going out because, you know, it's fucking 25 years old or so. They do that. 20 years old. But, you know, got to actually have a place to look at the car to be able to turn it off. And, um, I didn't leave all the wiring on. New battery terminals. Ooh, look at this shiny plastic. Shiny new plastic is. So if you're wondering what this blue thing is, that's just an extra little brace. I had uh, taken the motor mounts out and polyurethane them. And I wanted to add this because this exhaust... I know you can't see, but this exhaust damn near touches the frame. Those are some really big pipes coming out of there, because that's a really big four-cylinder as far as fucking four-cylinders go. It's 2.2 liters, and it's a VTEC, and it's had work done to it. Um, stock suspension, energy suspension bushings. I got the coil spring isolators raising the front up. You see, this thing has a multi-link rear suspension, which means this back wheel cambers out a little bit under load. Okay, so you can slam on your brakes and pitch this fucking thing into a corner, and it kind of feels like it oversteers. Front-wheel drive car. Now, this car does not have a multi-link, but it does have adjustable rear suspension aftermarket. So the whole theory I was talking about earlier is to kind of try to make this car handle less like an Integra and more like an Accord. And um, I like my selfie sticks to work. Eh, that's the idea. And, uh, when I restore cars, I do them right. And I replace all the little things that people would like to have on their cars. This guy... I was just getting ready to put him on there when I realized all the different disasters that had befell what I thought was going to be a quick fix and forget kind of car. Ended up costing twice as much in parts as we paid for it. But oh well. We'll get over it. I just need to uh, spend that money on a car I'd like to actually sell as opposed to buying cars that I want to keep. That's not really a way to make money. So, probably still going to fix this one, sell the Scion, buy two more junk Civics or something, and get to working on those so I can sell them. And uh, I guess I might even use the channel in case anyone winds up in the market for a new Civic come around February. Oh, <sighs> A restored old Civic. I'll drive something that drives like a new car and looks like an old car. If you live in a place where car theft is a problem, that can have its advantages. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna look at your car and be like, man, he's broker than me. I should steal from him. No. Look at you, you broker than me. Uh, I'm just gonna pass that up. Bingo. You ready to come inside? I'm being surrounded by wasps, so come inside. Yeah, my dog chews all the hair off of his butt. I don't know what to do about it. I've tried all kinds of different things. You just eat. You don't want to hear back there. And people ask me if he has me. No, he just chews his own fucking hair off. Uh, he used to live in my car with me. I'm pretty sure he was abused before I found him. He's about seven years old now. And about two years ago is when he started his butt chewing stuff. He's a sweet dog. I love him. 
Dingo. You good boy? Come on. Come on, Dingo. Come on, Dingo. Come on, spotty butt. All right. Y'all take it easy. Peace.